Today, I'm going to show you how to create assignments in Smart Music and to do it the smart way. If you and I are meeting for the first time, my name is Bob Cheslinski and I am an elementary band director. I created this channel to give you all the information to make your job so much easier. So let's get right to the video today so I can show you how to do this. So we need to learn how to create an assignment for a student. Let's open a song called Popcorn Prelude. I have this song open. Now I'm going to click on this button on the right hand side where it says assign. I'm going to click into select an assignment type and I'm going to click on custom assignment. That allows me to change all of these parameters here. I'm going to keep all of these this way I like having the metronome on, the accompaniment on. Then I'm going to come up to the right hand corner and I'm going to hit the next arrow button. Now I can come down here and because it's a custom assignment, I can say where I would like this assignment to start and where I would like it to end. We're only going to be learning the beginning of this song. So I'm going to click in for measure 13, beat 4. I don't want the students to work on the whole entire assignment. That's why I put in custom assignment. So we're going to start bar 1, beat 1, and we're going to end bar 12, beat 4. I'm going to click the next button. My point rubric will go in. I click next. I would like to assign this now. All I have to do is come up here and choose the class I would like to receive this assignment. I always click on the last day of school and I will also go a week later. I think that helps because then there is no late assignments and you don't run into an issue in the grade book where you get the red box around an assignment and a student didn't do it and now you're stuck. You can't figure out how to reassign to a student. I am going to assign to all students. I don't have to. I can click on assign to some students and it'll bring up all the students and I can click on the ones I would like to receive this. I am going to do all students though. I'm going to click the next button. I've gone into my gradebook to make sure that it's assigned and it is. Right there is the popcorn prelude that we just put in there. There is a pencil icon here that I can go in and click on that and I can edit the timeline and the students who are receiving this assignment but I cannot edit anything else I did with that assignment. Once that assignment is in there, it's in there. That's why I always put the date for the end of the school year in there. Let's learn a second way to create an assignment in Smart Music. The second way, after you have your song chosen or any assignment in a book, before you even open the song, right here on the right side it says Assign. I'm going to click on that. Once again, I'm going to click on Custom Assignment. That allows me to change any of these parameters. I will tell you that it's a good idea to leave on the Allow Both Melodic and Percussion. That way, no matter what instrument is playing, you have it covered. If you only click on Allow Percussion, then it's not going to pick up the melodic instruments very well, only the percussive instruments. I'm going to click the arrow up in the right hand corner here to move to my next screen. On this assignment, I'll keep it the same as the first one. We'll only go to bar 12. I'll click the next button. I will add my grading rubric. I would like to assign this now. I'll choose my class. Once again, I'm going to go and I'm going to pick the end of the school year and I'm going to go one day extra. Remember, you can assign to all students or just some. This time I'm going to choose the just sum so you can see how that works. And I think I'm just going to give it to the first three students. I'm going to click OK. Now I'll click the arrow in the right hand corner to move to my next screen. And it's done. We're in my gradebook now. And remember, I only signed it to three students, not the entire class. So if we go and take a look, those first three students have gray boxes while the other students have lighter gray boxes, which means I did not assign it to them. Only the first three students. If I go into the pencil icon to edit, and I edit timeline and students, I can now come in here and 
I thought better of it. I want to assign to all of my students. I can click on assign to all students. I can click the next button. We are back in the gradebook now and you can see this popcorn prelude assignment. All of the students now have these gray boxes, so it's assigned to all of them. It's that easy. Smart Music is a great tool to use. It's so easy. You saw it today, we created an assignment in Smart Music two different ways. We also learned how to assign to all of our students in the class or just some of our students. If you found value in this video today, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. That way, you'll get all my future videos. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video.